we had the guns and Dalton Castle's boys, and like there right. was no heat at all well, whatsoever for this match. I mean, there was no heat for Hakar Sheet and Abaddon. There was not a lot of heat for Dax and Ricky Starks. Dax and Starks wrestled in the library. You can get mad at me if you want, but I'm not wrong. There are a small number of of sequential week by week storylines that are going on in this company and those are the ones that are over and just showing up here and there and oh you win you win a match on friday and you got a match that stuff is not working for the crowd it was very obvious here tonight in front of four thousand people benny would you like a xanax i should have timed this i can't believe you going off on like an eight minute rant it was inspired eight minutes by the boys Shows and the guns been going on eight minutes <laughs> he got whacked in the eye and he told people Wednesday that he had to go in for an MRI. And I was told that he had surgery and he is out for the rest of the year. Oh. <sighs> and, uh, man, this guy, I don't know, dude. Like, I'm not saying never wrestle again because he's gonna. It's not even a cliche. He gets hurt in every single big match that he does. Mm -hmm. Sky says anything she has to say to Julia is between Julia and me. What happened to your me. camera, bro? Julia's what? You froze. Yeah. All right, I'm going to try and reboot your camera. So, Jared, put it on uh, Craig or something. He'll make a silly face. Craig, how's your face going? Uh, it's beautiful, as always. Okay, well, I finished the, I finished the match, dude. <laughs> Craig, tell me about this promo. This was so awesome. Mm -hmm. I don't have enough great things to say about it. This obviously would have been much better on pay-per-view, but if I, if I were Tony Khan and it was my money, this is a fucking pay-per-view match. People would have paid for this. A lot of people. This would have done 140,000 buys, this match on pay-per-view. Maybe more. Boo. It's the Halloween edition of the Brian and Vinny and Granny and Craig and Sean show. My costume is middle-aged man who has just rolled out of bed with a raging hangover. The there disgusting chest hair poking out of the thank top you, of that yes. wife beater really completes my, the look right thing. there. Which actually is trend more than usual, so it says how disgusting I truly am. That is absolutely yes. disgusting. Sean is Wayne actually, from Wayne's World. Wayne un, Campbell. It's uncanny, actually. Swing. What is Craig here today? The uh, blue meanie. To, you told me to dress up. So you dressed up. <laughs> Granny yeah. laughed. And Granny, um, what are you? Home of the Wicked Witch. I see. All right, make sure you can sit back down with. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> My ears. What is your costume? I'm just Ken. I see. Yeah, gotcha. we had a we had a, a Barbie Halloween here. Gotcha. Apparently. Gotcha. Granny, what do you got here today? Oh, what have I got? <laughs> I'm having some trouble here. All right. Jerry, Jerry found something for me. What was that over there, Vinny? That was me very su subtly, stealthily, sneakily sliding my mic forward. <laughs> yeah, that was really subtle. No one noticed. Back surplus on John. Back yeah. surplus. That sounds like Craig. Sean had enough, leaves the ring, tries what does to that go. Even mean? You have a very wide back, Craig. Undertaker comes in with a victory belt around his middle. Stone Cold jumps right in, punching and kicking. Let's see if he can get a good shot of this pumpkin. All right, there's Granny. Hey, there is a pumpkin. You decorated that, Granny? Yeah. He's trying to get in, but there we go. I had uh, spiders for eyes, and you can't see No, I can see way. the spiders for eyes. Mm -hmm. We can see that. And then there's, That's enough, there, Jared. There's the wall. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Granny. Well, we'll red five you, okay? <laughs> this match felt like it went 45 minutes. It just kept going and going and going and going and going. And the crowd's getting quieter and quieter the longer it goes. Mm -hmm. And by the end, I'm just thinking, okay, so who didn't show up tonight? I'm like, God, I, I thought this was going to go to the end of the show. It just kept going so long. And I don't even remember who won after all that. Who won this match? Well, we'll get there. <laughs> no! Just tell me and get it over with. I can't sit through a long thing again, Vinny. Well, fuck you. You have to. Man, remember when we used to vote? Mm -hmm. I don't think AEW is winning this week. Really? Uh, I enjoyed Dynamite for the most part. It was a perfect show. But yes, yeah, so every once in a what while. What happened to your camera again? I didn't do God, anything. What is going on with this thing? Well, I got to try and fix it, so put a squirrel up for Vinny or something like that. Wardlow jumps MJF and pins him against the wall, and MJF is cowering in fear. He's terrified of this maniac Wardlow, helpless to defend himself. Okay, that was odd. I won't lie. That was, that was a strange way to portray it. Yeah, it was odd, because like the last time I saw MJF and Wardlow in the ring together, Wardlow killed a guy. Yes. Right? Right. And now he's telling me that MJF took everything from him. 
Did MJF shave his head? Well, that too. Did MJF send him away? Like, what is he even talking about? In storyline, what is Wardlow talking about here? And we have not, last time we saw Hangman, he was sprinting to the back to race back to his house where he was watching someone break in and threaten his family. And he just comes out here and starts wrestling. Yeah. And that was weird. I didn't think about that at all because Hangman came out with the Young Bucks so nonchalantly that I totally forgot what happened last week. The follow-up was that Hangman flew to TV and put on his gear and went out for a wrestling match. I absolutely could not believe what I was watching. Remember that uh, uh, when the Young Bucks and Hangman or whoever were attacked by the Dark Order and people talked about how that was the end of the world? Uh Okay, this is not the end of the world. Don't get me wrong. But this was far more surprising and baffling to me than when the Young Bucks and Hangman or whoever were attacked by the Dark Order. I could not believe my eyes watching this segment. Could not believe my eyes. Tony Khan's big announcement. Yes. Is that all-in tickets will go on sale on December 1st in time for Christmas. All right, that's a crappy announcement. I won't lie. (laughs) I would have advertised that Tony Khan has an announcement regarding how you can get your all-in tickets in just a couple of weeks. If I'm interested, I'm going to watch the show. If I'm not interested, well, that's fine. I'm not going to be let down by an announcement. I think that he should have strongly basically told you what he was going to announce tonight. How you can be first in line to get your tickets to Wembley Stadium in August of 2024. Then we would not have had this problem. So Jericho says he's big, but he's not a giant. Brings out Paul White. Kyle Fletcher runs at him. And Paul's got to punch him one time and Kyle will go down. And he looked like he could not move at all. He looks immobile from the waist down. The young bucks interrupt. Their feelings are hurt. Nobody has their back. They're mad at Hangman for abandoning their wrestling match to go beat up the guy who threatened his family. They're kind of shitty friends. Well, they're turning heel, bro. It appears they're turning heel. That's I think. Nobody cares. The Looks beginning. like you're a goddamn yeah. giraffe again. They spent two years reuniting the elite. <laughs> and literally in the words of Matt Jackson, and he's not wrong, they did almost absolutely nothing with it. What was the point? <laughs> and now they're breaking up again. Uh, that's what it looks like, yes. Okay. <laughs> MGF was not on fire. No, no, no. And he just... Pick the acclaimed. That was a story. You know, they do a lot of long storylines, long builds and payoffs in AEW. This was uh, one week. Clearly, there's more coming here with with MJF and and, uh, the acclaimed. But, like, bro, how many storylines does this guy have? You know what I'm saying? Um, MJF has got Jay White. Yes. Samoa Joe. Yes. Whatever's going on with Adam Cole and Roderick Strong. Yes. Um, Wardlow. Wardlow. Yes. Now he's got some deal going on with the acclaimed. Creed Brothers versus Los Garzas in a tables, ladders, and scares match. They beat the shit out of each other. Good lord almighty. This match was really good. It was. It was insane. This is so 2020. This spooky shit. It wasn't even spooky. It was just annoying. Friends and strangers stabbed me with but their... he had to do the crazy eyes and sta- the smile. Friends and, and strangers uh... stabbed me with their judgmental eyes. Yeah. That's not spooky. That's stupid. Well, yeah. It sucked. <laughs> Fallon Henley is supposed to wrestle Tiffany Stratton. God. But Tiffany jumps her, and as God is my witness, puts her in a ring post figure four. Yeah. Did Brett buy this company and I missed it? Metaphor, go to the haunted house in search of Tazawa and the Heritage Cup. They are dressed like Mystery Inc., including Noam as Scooby-Doo himself. We had a Lyra-Becky video package. There's lots of footage of Becky congr- congratulating Lyra uh, backstage, all the covers they got on Irish TV. This was so fucking great. Man, this Kalani is just doing one RVD spot after another. Like, she stole all of his moves. The match was great, but I, I saw all these people talking about how absolutely incredible this match was. And all I could think was... Did you not see their last match? Like, yeah. this match was great. Their last match was this times five. So they ended on a legitimate cliffhanger. Yeah. What the fuck's going on next week with Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams? Don't know. 
And uh, yes, I I now further stand by my belief that this show was the better show this week. I, I I'm sorry, I must disagree. I enjoyed Dynamite more. Really, I loved. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, Vinny, it's okay to be wrong. That's fine. <laughs>